Good morning, everybody. I'm Reagan Adams with All Things Reagan. Thank you for joining me on Reagan Says this morning. So let's get into it, y'all. Okay, so you know, I always say I'm going to try not to ramble, but that's not going to be the case today. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Today, I'm talking about I am a big deal and so are you. So I'm going to talk about my weekend that I have planned, my putting me first weekend in Atlanta for next year. We're going to touch on that, but blah, 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 blah. but before I get to that, um, I want to talk about my weekend. So <laughs> I made a post and I'm very sincere when I say this, like no lies, seriously. Uh, Monday through Friday, I don't necessarily care what I look like. I'm just, I'm being honest. I'm clean and I smell good. That's like, that's all you can get from me Monday through Friday, unless I have a meeting or I have somewhere that I, I need to go uh, or somewhere I don't need to embarrass my child or whatever. And, um, but weekends, I make sure I get real nice. And, uh, man, listen, so I had a little shirt, little outfit I had been wanting to wear and I tried on, uh, some jeans. And they didn't fit. They were too big. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to go then. Because I, listen, this weight loss thing. I'm losing weight, but I keep like hitting this ceiling. Because that eating demon is trying to come back. Huh, I love to eat, but it's it's that self-control. So, of course, y'all know my reset button. We're going to we're gonna restart it again <laughs> on Monday. <laughs> so, uh, going back. Well, I'm still on the intermittent fasting, but... I just been slipping like I'm telling you this weather here I, I really I can eat and tuck in eat and tuck in like I've been in the street this weekend but really I fall winter eat and tuck it in seriously so I gotta be mindful of that so anyway um back to what I was saying about the jeans I'm gonna be a little scattered but just stick with me um had some jeans that I was gonna wear with my little top and the jeans were too big. So I was like, okay, um, let me, you know, run down here to the $10 store. Shout out again to Simply 10 with the best jeans on the face of the earth. Simply 10 Broadway. Uh, well, anyway, so let me run down here and get a pair of jeans. Honey, who done went down? Who has gone down two pant sizes? Who? Who? Me? Yeah. Woo! So mind you, I had lost this weight, but I'm still wearing the same pants. And you know, I really don't have no butt. So it was like I was sagging Sandy. It was looking crazy. Anyway, so I bought a pair of, uh, of pants uh, this weekend and wore it with my top. So listen, baby, who was feeling they self this weekend? Me. Me. <laughs> I was like, I'm not going to front. Like I done went down two pant sizes and your girl thought she was like top notch. Seriously. So anyway, ran the street, um, celebrated my friend's birthday. Happy birthday. We'll be late. It was past that time, but happy birthday, Cindy. Uh, celebrated my um, anniversary. Yay. But yeah. yay. 12 years um, uh, to my baby love. That's my baby love uh so happy anniversary to us um i worked went to a makeup show shopped just kind of been in the street we were supposed to go to the cancer walk but we didn't go um just i was in the street this weekend had a really good weekend uh cleaned up a little bit because yeah cleaned up a little bit uh but anyway so my weekend was great. Church was great. Uh, I went to a, our church did a Halloween play, which we, we don't want to call it Halloween, but Halloween play. Uh, and it was really good. It was talking about hell, um, which was really good. Like people going to hell or some a person going, well, no, it was people that went to hell. So they just kind of showed what hell looked like. And it was like, oh Lord, if you don't go and repent, like it, after that, <laughs> After you saw that and you didn't go repent or you didn't go give your life to Christ, I don't know what's wrong with you because ain't no way in the world I would be wanting to go there. Not at all. It was really good. It was called the N 865, the end 865. Um, that was really good and it was done in excellence. Uh, but that's, that's a whole nother story. I love my church because of the excellence that it works in. Uh, not just because of that, but teaches the word, but then they also work in excellence. Uh, 
I just hung out this weekend, but it was really good. But I kind of gave you a snippet of why, why I said I was feeling myself this weekend. Um, and it's going to kind of do a segue into I'm a big deal. So, um, I've spent quite a bit of time trying to work on myself. So work on myself mentally, not just physically, but mentally. And um, just kind of getting my emotions back together. I had some things uh, that had occurred to me. Occurred? Yeah. It's things that have happened <laughs> to me in the past two and a half, three years um, that I took a blow in a lot of areas of my life. And um, I kind of had to sit with myself and gather myself, gather my thoughts, gather my emotions, gather my physical, like everything, because a lot of stuff fell apart. And um, I kind of lost my happy for a little bit. And if you know me personally, I am happy or in a good mood 98, 99% of the time. If I open my eyes, it's, it's a good day because I got another day to get it right, right? So I'm typically in a good mood. It doesn't take, when I get mad, I mean, it don't take much to make me mad, but most of the time I'm in a really good mood and I do it on purpose. I live my life like that on purpose because I want to be happy. I don't want to walk around here looking crazy, right? Um, And so I was listening to a sermon maybe a few weeks ago by Matthew Stevenson, one of my favorite uh, pastors. And I, he was talking about relationships, which I'm really big on relationships, uh, not just with like your husband or your boyfriend, girlfriend, but I'm big on relationships as far as friendships or the people that I connect with. I like to have a rapport uh, with them if it's somebody I'm going to be dealing with. Um, I just want to have a, a, a good relationship with you because I don't have a lot of relationships, but the relationships that I do have, I want good quality. And... Um, I, don't, I can't really remember how the sermon went, but he was talking about being a big deal and how a lot of people don't think that they're a big deal. And I was like, yeah, mind you, I had already been in the midst of working on this event and I was calling it like live, laugh, love yourself or something like that. But the gist of the Atlanta, putting me first and let me stop right there and hopefully I can come back to it. Putting me first is a weekend that I came up with five years ago and we will be celebrating, which is a great thing. We'll be celebrating putting me first fifth anniversary when we do the event in April. I think the first event was March the 13th. Um, five years ago. So that next month, it will be the fifth year of putting me first. So we'll be celebrating five, um, which is the number, is the number of favor or grace. It's one of the two. We're doing that, but we're also, uh, I'm celebrating my 40th birthday. Awesome. And um, so not only do I want to celebrate me, but I want the women who are attending to celebrate them. A lot of the time life happens and it can really, we can take a blow physically with, listen, when I'm happy, I'm eating. When I'm sad, I'm eating. When I'm not doing anything, I'm eating. So emotional things, maybe you were in a relationship of some sort with a man or a woman or a friendship or you lost a loved one where life happened and it knocked you down. And it's like you haven't been able to gather yourself and you're still kind of trying to move through life and not paying attention to who you are or who you could be. And I, through me losing this weight and through me doing like self-care and through, you know, the relationships that I've built and intentionally working on trying to get my life together, you know, concerning my walk with God and my relationship with my husband and trying to maintain that and just be a better person. I am intentionally like, oh my gosh, every day I'm feeling better and better and better about myself. Um, I had some things <laughs> um, within the past few months kind of come in and try to creep in and like, mm, you know, uh, you need to look at this or and kind of get me off the path. But it's like, you know what? No, I'm good. Like, I'm good this weekend. Like I've had good weekends every weekend and good days every day. But this weekend, I got really excited and not just excited for me, but excited for the ladies who are attending the event. And I say this because we're going to celebrate you like I've been celebrating me. And I'm going to celebrate when I turn 40, but we're going to celebrate you. We're going to celebrate your life. I was talking um, 
I had a, a meeting this weekend also with uh, the woman who did my um, my headshots for my business. And we talked for a few hours about some things. And you'll see some of those, the fruits of some of that a little bit later. And I won't go into that. But um, we talked for a few hours. And I was trying to ex you know, explain the concept of I'm a big deal. And she was like, that's it. Basically like, yeah, we are a big deal. If you sit down, and I know we don't even think about this. If you sit down and think about all the things that you do, we're not even looking at your physical. The things that you do on a day-to-day -day basis and not even think about it, you bad. What? Listen, I wrote down, I sat down, I said, I'm going to sit down and write out everything I do and who I am to different people. And I do it without even think. Listen, I don't even think about it. And I'm trying to get myself together physically. What? Baby, I'm bad. What? And I'm not even talking about, like I said, physically. Yeah, I'm cute or whatever. But I'm not even talking about physical. I'm talking about my mental. You know, what I have to offer. You know, I talked to my husband this weekend. I mean, he was, listen, he poured it on thick, baby. I can't wait to tell that whole story. Like, I'm really excited about that. I can't really go into detail about it right now. But God has really hit the reset button over our marriage. And he was just sharing some things with me. And I was just like, man, you are pouring into me right now. You don't even know it. <laughs> like, you don't know it. And just telling me how he appreciates me before everything that I do. And he was just going down the list, which I said, that's what we do anyway. Um, and then uh, his cousin called me. And was telling me some things and just kind of reiterating like, man, I see this and I see that and blah, 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 blah. And like, I have a whole new respect for you and whoop, whoop, whoop. And he was pouring into me too. So sometimes we don't have that person to pour into us. I have that through my friendships, but that's intentional. Um, we don't have that person to pour into us. And at the beginning and I'm not even going to say that because my friend Cindy was there. But sometimes even when you don't have that person, you got to do it for yourself. Um, was that David who spoke over himself? You have to encourage yourself. You know, you're not going to always have that cheering squad. I always didn't have it. Even before Cindy came, It I didn't have it. Um, so you have to do it yourself. So that weekend in Atlanta, listen, Yes, it's a relaxation event. We're having massages. Uh, we're going to, we'll have, let me see, let me back it up. We're going to start Friday, um, I think about 10, 1030. Um, we're having three guest speakers. Um, it's going to be basically about loving yourself and being, you know, bad to the bone, basically showing that you're a big deal. We're, we're going to have several different topics uh, about loving yourself from the inside out, but also, you know, self-worth, self-love, uh, different, just different things uh, along those lines. We're also going to have relaxation stations. Um, so we know that this event is definitely about relaxation because when you do self-care and you relax, you're better equipped to take care of other people outside of yourself. Not only just you, but when you are revived, you're refreshed, you can take care of other people. And you're happy to do it. Listen, when I before I came up with this concept or when I came up with the concept of putting me first, I was away for a weekend. I didn't really even talk to my husband or my daughter. I just had time by myself, I had time with God, and I had time with my friends. That's all I needed. And when I came back off of the road to see them, I was happy to see them. I was happy to come home and cook. I was happy to come home and serve my husband, happy to whatever with my daughter. I was happy to do that because I was rested. Mentally, physically, emotionally, we need the break. But we also need to know that we are worth it. We're worth it. I'm bad. You bad. And I'm I, when I say I am so excited, I am so, so excited for this event. Because it's going to be like none of them that we've had before. Um, I want every lady that is attending this event to just have a new lease on life. To be just you like literally leaving the event saying I'm a big deal and not just saying it, but believing it because you are. I'm telling you, if you write, listen, after this video, just write down, write down 10 things. I'm telling you 10 things don't come off like this. 
10 off the rip. Dang, I'm bad. And we're not talking about physical. I'm not even talking about physical. Yes, absolutely. This weekend, like I'm loving the way I'm coming to listen. I like the way I am inside, but the inside is coming out now. And I've always been that one because I've always been into clothes and fashion. Again, that that's what my uh, what I majored in in college. And I always wanted to be the best dress. I mean, because I, I love clothes. I love jewelry. I love accessories. I love that stuff. And when I got with my husband, I always said I have to be a reflection of him. So as long as I'm looking good and he looking good, we, we looking good together. I, what blows my mind? Let me tell you what blows my mind. And some people don't care about this. I do. Like, I know it's not being superficial. I just, I care about how I look on the weekends <laughs> or when I'm with my husband or whatever. Um, he's almost 10 years older than I am. So, but he still is like Jordans and all that stuff. But anyway, um, I always wanted to be a good representation of my husband. And when we're out, but also with him, like since I started losing this weight, baby, it does my heart well to hear my husband say, babe, babe, I mean, I can't go into, you know, the details, but, uh, babe, <laughs> ow, <laughs> babe, you look good, you know, and I want to look good for myself. That's number one, definitely, but. I always want him to look at me like, I want to make his eyes pop out. What? But I would think every woman would want that because there's so many went lists and men are visual. They are. There are so many um, women out there. And if you're not keeping yourself up, like that's why I was telling his cousin this weekend, like with me trying to lose weight, I had let myself go. Like literally just, let myself go because you get comfortable like, well, I got them. I got them. It's cool. But when you start gaining weight and you're not feeling good in your clothes, you're not looking good in your clothes, you're trying to have sex and you covering up and you tired and I'm not going to get into detail, but stuff just ain't doing what it needs to do. It's not even cute anymore. So I'm like, wait a minute, hold up. You know, so not only for him, but for myself. And I don't know. Listen, it does my heart well um, when I can I can keep my husband's attention, or because essentially, like I said, if you're gonna walk around here looking scrubby, there's other women out here that's, that's putting it together, and they don't mind. But they don't mind. And I don't want him to be like, well, my, my wife don't care. So let me, I'm going to just go out here and look at uh, Josephina. No. So anyway, ladies, we got to get it together. And uh, we need to start working now. Like, we got to start working now. Man, you ladies are beautiful. If you're looking at this, I'm talking to the ladies today. Sorry, fellas, but I'm typically talking to the ladies. It's time. You know, you've been thinking about it. Man, I got to do something about my weight. Man, I got to do something about the way I feel about myself. Man, I got to do something. You know, and, and with relationships too, if you're not, what I've found is if you're not whole within yourself and completing yourself, there's no way you're going to have a man, and I'm talking to women, and think that they're going to be able to complete you when you're miserable. And you don't have your own stuff going on. Listen, I talked about this weeks ago. You got to find you something to do. You got to find you something to do. You have to find you something to do. Go work on yourself. If you got a funky attitude, ain't no man dealing with that. I know mine's not. And I have a man's man. He ain't, what, get yourself together. What are you talking about? Go work on yourself. Go find you something to do. Business. Work on yourself. Inside out. Attitude. Um, too much mouth. No man wants a mouthy woman. Like, <laughs> go work on yourself. I, listen, I'm trying not to be all over the place, but y'all, after I talked to uh, Jasmine, Jasmine is her name. I call her coach. She's my coach, but it's unofficial what I call her coach. But we talked for hours and man, it did. Listen, I'm excited about what we're going to do. I'm excited about what she's getting ready to do on her own. I'm excited about 
what I'm getting ready to do, what I'm doing. I'm excited about the ladies that I'm getting ready to impact. Listen, I need to see you there in Atlanta. I need to see you in Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta is the hot spot for events. I don't care nothing about that. I need to see your face in Atlanta. I need to see your face in Atlanta because we're going to have a good weekend. I talked about uh, Friday. So we're going to start Friday, 10, 1030. We'll go until maybe 2 to 3. Um, we'll have relaxation stations. So different stations where you can do certain things. We'll have a makeup station. We'll have a painting with a twist. This time we're going to do canvas. Or if we don't do painting with a twist, it'll be some type of a craft of some sort that you'll be able to take in and take home. Um, oh my gosh, I wrote everything down. I don't have it in front of me, but we have different stations for you to relax, take your time. We'll have massages there, of course, a nail bar. Um, we got all kind of stuff, but there'll be different stations after we have our guest speakers. We also have an event t-shirt. Uh, we're going to have a uh, dinner um, Friday night. The restaurant is unknown. I don't know yet. Um, I'm going there in two weeks. I think two weeks and put my eyes on the place. Like I always do that. Anytime I have an event, I go and uh, do a site check. So I'm going to Atlanta to do a site check. So I'll be doing and I'll put it on here. You'll see the hotel. You'll see. Um, I don't know if I'm going to say the restaurant or not. Um but you'll see all that. So we'll do a site check for that. Uh, Saturday. Oh, that's what I was saying. We'll dress up. We'll have a nice dinner where we're going to dress up. The colors are black, white, and gold or cream or gold. So black, white, and gold. Uh, so everybody will need to wear that. That Friday night, we're going to go to a nice restaurant where we're going to dress up and get real cute. Uh, hopefully, everybody at, you know, earlier that Friday uh, will be able to go by the makeup station and get real cute. Um, so we'll be cute that night with a nice dress up dinner. Saturday, you're on your own, so you can do whatever, whenever. Sunday, we're have we're going to be celebrating my birthday, but also celebrating you. Uh, we'll have the bougie brunch. So, and we'll have our event t-shirts. So we'll wear our event t-shirts on Sunday, and we'll have a speaker, which will be me. <laughs> So um, I'm excited about the weekend. It is about you. It's about relaxation. It's about flipping your inside to your outside. Because I'm telling you, when you feel good on the inside, it's going to show outside. And I'm just excited. So I need you guys to go ahead and register. The total of the event is $150. Uh, the deposit is $50 to hold your spot. Um, I also am going to um, do a referral uh, program with that. So every person that you refer refer and they pay will be a certain percentage off of your ticket. Uh, we will have 60 slots available. I also will have vendors this year. We have uh, a space for 15 vendors. The vendor fee is $100. Uh, if you're interested in that, please send me an email at putting me first, putting me first, the number two, the word day at gmail.com putting me first, the number two day at gmail.com. Send me an email. I do have a form for you to fill out so we can kind of look and make sure that your company is a good fit for uh, the event. That price is a hundred dollars uh, and you'll just be set up for Friday. It does come with your own table uh, and we'll also uh, I forgot what I'm going to also put you on Facebook. So, and, and market you. So we'll have your company. We'll have your picture. Um, listen, it's going to be a good weekend. It's going to be a good weekend. Like I'm excited. I'm ex like, I'm excited about all my events, but, but because we're working from the inside out and there's so many women who are just beat down and I can attest to this. We're beat down emotionally. And we just got to get out of that because we are a big deal. Like, you bad, sis. You are bad, baby love. You're bad. And I need you to know that. And if you don't know, come to the event and find out. Right? Um, the, the speakers that we have are powerhouses. Like, I'm excited about it. Um, and I'm including myself on Sunday. <laughs> but I'm always just going to share with you the real. Like, whatever's going on in my life or... You know, the, the steps that I took to even get to where I'm at or where I'm going, because it's going to be even better. I remember, and just really quickly, 
Uh, I remember when I first met my friend Cindy when I started working, uh, and I was a lot smaller. Well, 10, 12, that's my size. Um, 10, 12, honey, I used to sashay through those highways and have a full uh, face of makeup on and hair and just, honey, changing purses every day with the outfits like I was a mess. Uh, but I'm getting back there. I'm getting back there. <laughs> And she was like, I used to couldn't stand you. Like, you thought you was all this. But I never, like, with the air of, ugh. Because I'm cool. Like, and she was like, you're nothing like how I thought you were. Because I'm cool. Like, I have a great, to me, I have a great personality. Like, I'm very friendly when you get to know me. <laughs> Other than that, I got the mean mug on you. But, you know, when you feeling yourself, when you know who you are, there is nothing bad. Like, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm about to fall out of this chair. There's nothing like having that inner peace and that inner confidence um, that nobody can tell you anything. Like, yeah, you may. I'm not even saying I'm not struggling with some things. Like, I was talking to Jasmine today, and I was like, we were talking about my pictures. And I was like, oh, I don't like my big face. My face is so big. Like, I love my features. I love my eyes. I love my nose. I love my skin color. But I don't like the shape of my face. It's huge. I feel like I look like an ape sometimes. But she was like, but that's what you got. <laughs> like, yes, big. Now what? Like, you're beautiful. And yeah, I think I look nice. But we're going to out some women. We just are going to find something wrong. We're going to find something wrong, but that don't mean we're still bad. That don't mean we still can't feel good, you know, good about ourselves. So I'm just excited um, about our conversation this weekend. I'm excited about life. I'm excited about this Atlanta event. I want you guys to go ahead and register. 50 bucks, allthingsreagan.com. Um, check my page. I'm going to drop the link uh, below on this video. And I'm trying to think, is there anything else I want to talk about? Um No. Oh, when I went to the makeup thing, which has nothing to do with nothing, but I found, I've been wanting to try um, lip color because I have on some makeup now, but it's always really like nude. I, since I got my skin together, I really don't wear like all what I used to wear. I, I really like to look as natural as I can, but sometimes I want some lip co uh, color and I want a nice red lipstick or a nice matte red lip gloss and I found one. Oh, it was so pretty. A red one. It was gorgeous. Why were they sold out of it? I'm like, all oh, this time. <laughs> and it was like a really pretty purple one sold out. I'm like, this is some bull. But anyway, we'll find something. We'll find something else. Um, and I don't know if I finished telling you that story about my husband and I, but no, I just want to be a good representation of him. And even though we get older, um, black don't crack. Y'all know if you're white, I'm sorry. We, I love you. Um, my white brothers and sisters, but black don't crack. And if we halfway take care of ourselves, like we straight for a long time. So I always wanted to make sure that we look fashionable and I'm not looking old and frumpy, like basically just giving him something to look at. Um, I think that was it. Y'all, thank you for joining me today. I'm sorry if I was rambling, but you know what it is. If you watch me, it is what it is. Like, oh, it just is what it is. But thank you for joining me today on All Things Reagan. Uh, I may be back this week. I don't know. Y'all know if I get the feeling, I'll pop up on here on live. Um, if you need anything, inbox me and let me know. I am... The tickets are on sale. Oh, we have a dinner and a movie, ladies night this weekend. On Saturday at five o'clock at Perros in Rocky on Rocky Hill, we still have some um, spaces available. I, I want to quit saying um, I really do in my spirit. I want to quit saying um, <laughs> but we have uh, um, <laughs> we have spaces left uh, for the dinner and the movie this weekend. We're seeing the Tiffany Haddish movie, Perros on the Hill at five o'clock. Shortly after, what well, not shortly, but after we finish dinner, which the movie starts maybe like seven. I don't know what time exactly. I'll know later on in the week, but like seven ten ish, seven thirty ish. But it'll be right after dinner. We'll go to the movies in Turkey Creek. So uh, if you're interested in going to that, please let me know. The only thing that you'll give me is your ticket money, which I'll collect maybe like Monday, Tuesday, or today's Monday, maybe tomorrow. Because I don't like taking everybody's money at one time. 
uh, I mean, too early before the movie. So maybe today. We'll we'll start today. Uh, so we I can buy them early and get a um, get them all at one time, and then I can hand them out at dinner. So anyway, inbox me if you're interested in going. We do have I think about ten slots left, ten fifteen uh, slots left. And uh, I think that's it. So you guys have a blessed rest of the day, a blessed week. If I don't hear from you anymore this week, you guys have a blessed day. Have a peaceful and prosperous day. God bless. Bye.